Robin, what have you enjoyed most about therapy? I think what it is, it's when I see his face just light up when he has achieved a therapy goal. And, you know, Ocean is nonverbal, so he doesn't, you know, talk like you and I do. But in that moment when he's achieved that goal in therapy, he doesn't need to talk. It's, it's written all over his face. And that pride that he shows and the excitement, it's magical for a parent to watch. I mean, you see it every day. It must be great for you to see as well, just bringing out the best in these kids. What did you find useful during the Teddy therapy and what did you gain from it? Well, I gained a lot. I felt like I was the physiotherapist. Just having you facilitate the sessions, you just made it so easy for me to, to follow what you were saying. So I didn't feel as though he missed out at all on his therapy and it was just great having you there to encourage and to give us directive and to help me navigate just, you know, putting forth a really good physical therapy session for him. Robin, we were obviously preparing for a COVID outbreak. What worked well for you last time when you were in lockdown and you had to? I was, yeah, I was really worried about lockdown that the, the therapy wouldn't continue. It was actually amazing that the telehealth video conferencing appointments took place. And so, you know, during lockdown, everything else in our life kind of fell apart in disarray, but the therapy was the constant. We knew that we would see our therapists every single week. And that's so important for a child like Ocean because, you know, just for his, his musculature, keeping that consistency. So it was really comforting to know that the therapy continued. I'm not so concerned now about a future lockdown because I know that it works and telehealth was, was amazing for us. So we're really thankful 